Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQB.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. Let's start with Kristen Van Dyke and the forecast. Kristen? Good afternoon. More heat for the east and southeast. And of course, we're seeing showers and storms this afternoon across the northern mountains, uh, the Sacramento's, and the western high terrain. They will become a little more widespread later on today and could be intense at times, bringing some heavy rain. So, for, uh, Burn scars will have to watch for the potential of flooding, and we may see a stray shower here in the metro. Tomorrow for your Saturday, we start to really use up that moisture, so mainly spot thunderstorms in the higher terrain. The heat continues to build in. Temperatures are going to climb even higher as we head into the weekend for the metro, with many of you this weekend anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees above average. Here's that seven day forecast for Albuquerque 93 for the Northeast Heights, mid 90s downtown, then lots of sunshine this weekend with highs in the mid to even upper 90s. A woman accused of killing two of her friends in a drunk driving accident is back in police custody. Farmington police say Stephanie Mendez turned herself in this morning. She wasn't immediately arrested after the March crash on I-25 near Montano because authorities were waiting on blood alcohol tests. Once she was indicted, Albuquerque police say she went to the Navajo Nation. The body of a man has been found on Zuni tribal land just off Highway 550 near Cuba. The FBI is the lead agency in the case, and the Office of the Medical Investigator is processing the scene. The death is being treated as a homicide. Few other details are being released right now. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather throughout the day. 